Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a short video tonight showing you how to replace the suspension arm on this 2012 Volkswagen Polo. And just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you just click on the red subscribe button to below, below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. Now obviously we're using a two poster ramp today, which does make the job a little bit easier. If we weren't using the uh, ramp, all I'd do is just jack it up on this side um, as high as I can with a jack and just put an axle stand under it just to give you a bit of clearance. So, uh, just before we get it up in the air, I'll just show you. Um, we've got a new arm here. Uh, I'll just put some links in the description below to where you can get uh, some decent price suspension arms from uh, if you check that out. And I'll put links to all the tools used as well. Uh, but we're basically going to need to use a little torque socket, Torx 25, that's to get the under tray off. We've got a 17mm socket to get the wheels off, a hammer extension, uh, an 18mm uh, spanner and a pair of mole grips but you might not need the mole grips and just a lamp so uh, we're also going to use a little bit of copper grease and some penetrating oil as well. We'll get it up in the air now and show you what we've got to do. Just before it's fully up in the air I'll just show you, I'm just going to get the wheel off quick but a lot of these vaults have these little caps in there and all I'm going to use, there is normally a little tool that comes in the, the kit in the back but I'm just going to use a little pick and you just hook it on the inside of it and just pull it out. We'll just pop them out and then we'll, uh, we'll get the wheel off before it's up in the air as well. And right, now the first thing we're going to do is just take this under tray off and uh, we need to get it off to access the bolt um, for the front of the arm here. So, um, really easy to get off. All you need is a Torx 25 socket and you've just got loads of little torxes all the way around the outside. So just whip the under tray off quick and then we can get into getting the arm down and out there. Right, so now that we've got the under tray down, just come underneath, we've got the suspension arm here. Um, we've got the ball joint on this side. If you're just replacing the ball joint, they are bolt on to the arms. So they can be re replaced separately, but our new arms come with the ball joints. So we're going to need to undo this knot there. Um, that's an 18 mil. We've got one bolt there that goes through, and another one there that goes up, and it's got a bolt a nut sorry on the top of it. So um, before I attempt to undo them, I'm just going to give all um, just going to give them all a bit of a spray of penetrating oil up on top of the ball joint nut there and the top of that one and you can just get in the back and just get in the back there you can see it looks a bit rusty in there so we'll just give them a bit of a scrub with a wire brush if we can get in and uh, just give them a quick soak with some penetrating oil right so we've just given them a good soak left them for about five minutes now I've come back, we're just going to use an 18mm spanner now and the first one I'm going to do is undo the uh, ball joint nut there so just want to be up on there and uh, see if we can crack that off. So we've got the ball, the, uh, ball joint nut off now, uh, actually come out quite well tonight. Now sometimes uh, the, when you're undoing it, because they're quite tight, the ball joint starts spinning and you can't grip it. So what you might have to do is, um, I've done it before, I've just got it out ready just to show you and say luckily I got away with it tonight. So I've got a vertical jack here and all I would do is put that underneath the ball joint and just jack it up, just like that and just put the weight onto the ball joint, jack it up quite so it's quite firm and then that should that should nip the ball joint and allow you to take the nut off if you're struggling. And obviously if you're not up in the air, you'd just do it with your jack. You'd have it in the actual stand and put your jack under the ball joint there, right on the bottom and that'll just help lock it up. But uh, say so tonight it come off quite well which has saved us a little bit of work. So. And now that that's off, we're just gonna undo, uh, just get the buzz gun and take these two 18s out. Uh, when we take this back one out, we'll just have to hold the spanner on the top nut and then buzz it out to so get them down.
So that's uh, every bolt out that's holding the arm now. Uh, but you'll just find the ball joints get really tight in here. And all I'm going to do is just use a hammer and just uh, just give it a hit right on this surface here. Just you're not actually hitting the ball joint itself, and that should loosen it, and then uh, it'll drop down. But it might just take a few whacks uh, to get it to drop down. Again, one too bad actually that, just a couple of good firm wax and it just uh, cracks it off just to drop the ball joint out. And that's it, that's uh, the suspension arm down. The reason we're replacing this one tonight is the bushing starting to just come out there on the edge and you can see. So. Scrap that away, let's get the new one into place. Alright, so to start with, if you just work the new arm into place, um, usually it's uh, easier to push the uh, back up in first and then twist it round. So just roughly situated the arm in. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure they're lined up. I'm going to leave the ball joint out for now as it just leaves it a bit easier to get your bolts through on these front and back ones. Um, but now I'm just going to put some copper grease on the thread of the bolts and I'm going to feed them through. Uh, but it can be quite tight to get this one up and through in a straight a sort of straight line. So all I'm going to do is put that in. I might just need the mole grips just to uh, eke it into place. But I'll just show you if we do need to adjust it a bit. Uh, yeah, I just needed to use them mold grips and all it does is just, because it's a new bush, it's quite tight and quite just sort of sprung loaded in the uh, upright position. But if you just put the mold grips on it, you can just eke it around a little bit to get it through to get the nut on there. Uh, but we'll just give them all a nice nip up now uh, and then we'll nip the ball joint up as well. Yeah, on this front corner now, uh, as the uh, lock nuts just touch the thread there, it is starting to spin the ball joint as well. So I'm just going to put a bit of pressure on with a jack, and that should allow us to uh, 
and it's going to open up. Right, so that's the two back suspension arm bolts all nipped up now and the ball joint nut there as well. Uh, they just want to be uh, a good nip by hand really, they don't want to be too tight. Um, all I'm going to do yeah, is just uh, put a bit of copper grease on the thread there and on the other, on the threads that are showing from the two uh, bolts as well. Just in case it has to come off in the future, just make it uh, a little bit easier for the next person. Uh, also as well, I am going to free off this track rod end tonight. Uh, just crack that off there because I'm going to check and adjust the tracking. If you fit a new suspension arm, you always want to be getting the tracking checked really because if you're not careful, um, it probably will put it out. And if you're not careful, you end up scrubbing your, your tyres out. So, But uh, yeah, and then I'll put the wheel on, drop it down and uh, jobs are good. Uh, but I've also got some more videos on the Polo as well. There's an engine service, a uh, cam belt and water pump change as well. Uh, if you want to check them out, uh, I'll put links to them in the description below. Uh, but I hope the video helped. If it did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.